Another gorgeous day, another breathtaking match on show coming up. Former winner here, 2009, Rafael Nadal, one of the greatest players of all time to grace the tennis court, is about to grace the Rod Laver Arena again in the quarterfinals. Up against Denis Shapovalov from Canada. They know each other well, two left-handers squaring off. Doubts are good because doubts uh, make you think, make you feel alive. The doubt about my passion and my goal uh, haven't been there, no. So uh, I, I just keep going, I just keep working uh, to keep playing some good tennis. Champion stuff here from Nadal at the moment in the opening set. Why are you want? I think uh, it's unfair, you know, how much Rafa is getting away with. I mean, I'm completely ready to play and uh, the clock is ticking. Wow, the players are gonna have a meeting. In my opinion, Dennis was wrong in that, in that case. I understand that he just lost the set and in some way he wanted to keep playing quick. I respect everything that Rafa has done and I think he's an unbelievable player, but you know, there's gotta be some, some boundaries. Just got a little hotter here in Melbourne. Brilliant couple of forehands from Nadal to finish off the second set. I think it was just nerves. I just had to get into the match. I wasn't serving great, was struggling with the return, so the rhythm was, was off. Well, there has clearly been a bit of an issue. So Rafa getting some medication. Some pretty desperate times for the 20-time major champion. We can't forget that I didn't play match tennis for, for such a long time, no? so under these very hard conditions, I was destroyed, honestly, physically. So good. Brilliant. Ecstasy for Shapovalov. Electrifying pace off the strings of Shapovalov. Withstood a late charge from Nadal to take this into a fifth and deciding set. Of course, in the beginning of the, set, of the fifth set, if I was very worried, of course, yes, about more than worried, I thought that was gonna be super difficult to win that match, no? Uh, Rafa did a good job in the last set to, once he broke, to, to hold his service games and, and serve really big. Oh, he's mucked Shapovalov there. Well, we were all blindsided by Rafa's brilliance here. Cue the applause, it's seventh heaven for Rafa in Melbourne. A seventh semi-final. That was a miracle. I, I, I don't know how I survived that fifth set. No, I was, yeah, very tired physically and uh, I mean, it means a lot for me to be in that semi-finals and the support of the crowd have, have been huge, no, I can't thank them enough.